beautiful people. How are you all doing? My name is Mark Kevin Reyes. I'm a sugar flower specialist and cake design innovator based here in Manila, Philippines. And I love making things sweet and in style. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. And of course, please, please don't skip advertisements. Thank you very much. So for today, I'll be sharing with you another gum paste or sugar paste recipe which is very fun and easy to make. And the good thing is, it's vegan or vegetarian safe. So as you can see, the cake on my back, that's a cake I created for an international cake collaboration Japan. And all of that details that you see there is made from vegan gum paste. So I'm going to show you uh, what this gum paste stretch looks like. Um, this also dries hard compared to the one which I previously uploaded that has glucose. That one dries like rubber. This one dries hard, like that one. Okay, so for all the details uh, that you need to know, uh, it's going to be on the description box below, including the recipe, okay? So this is how I store it. So it's on an airtight container. And then I also wrap it first on plastic. So this is straight from the refrigerator or chiller. I let it thaw at room temperature for 30 minutes to one hour before use. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to show you the stretch. So here you can see um, the stretch is really nice and it's also really smooth and it's not sticky. I even don't have any shortening on my hands. Uh, you can use it to make flowers or figures or even sculptures for your cake. And this lasts for one to two years when it's dry like that one. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so now I'll be sharing with you a gum paste recipe that requires no heating, requires no cooking or use of the microwave. And this gum paste or sugar paste recipe is actually very easy to make. All you have to do is to combine all the ingredients and mix it well and then you have a very nice and good gum paste that you can also use for sculpture. Okay, so this is also safe for vegan or vegetarian people. So first, we need to prepare our dry ingredients. So I have here a sifter and my mixing bowl. So I'll be getting two cups of powdered sugar first. Okay, so we need two cups of powdered sugar. Okay, so that's one cup and then we need another cup okay so you need to sift this well this is actually very easy to use so later on I'll be flashing out and showing you sample pictures of uh, some creations I made for an international collaboration project which is all and entirely made from this gum paste, which I also call as vegan gum paste. Okay, so this is very easy to use and great. Okay, so after that, you have your two cups of sifted powdered sugar. You need to add in two tablespoon of corn syrup. So you can use any brands, but I'm using Ferna. So we'll be adding directly two tablespoon of corn syrup. Okay, so that's one tablespoon and then we add another one. Okay, so we have two tablespoon. So I'll just add another one, just very little. Okay, that's just like a drop because normally um, you have remaining corn syrup that gets stuck onto your um, measuring devices. So you don't get the exact measurement. So normally... Um, I just add a little bit very very little okay but it's optional and then after that we'll be adding four tablespoon of water okay so that's one two three then four so for the water it should be room temperature water it's not hot it's not cold just room temperature Okay, so as you see, some of the sugars are already dissolving in the water and in the corn syrup. So what you do now, you need to get your um, spatula or your wooden spoon. You can also use a mixer for this one. But since we are promoting an efficient way of how to make gum paste, so for this episode, we won't be using any mixer and we won't be using any heating devices such as microwaves or even 
a stove. Okay, so basically you just mix them all together. Okay, make sure to mix them well that you don't have any lumps. Okay, you can also use a whisk for this one, but for me, I just love using my um, rubber spatula. Or you can also use a wooden spoon. Okay, so mix it well. Make sure that you don't have any lumps. Okay, so basically, um, it's just like a royal icing consistency. Right? You see that? So it's very smooth. It's very silky. All the sugars are already dissolved and mixed. So for the recipe, I'll put it on the description box below. So you can always check it out later on. Okay, so once you have something like so, which is very smooth, and all the sugars are already dissolved, so we'll be adding our Tylose powder. So you can use Tylose powder or CMC powder. So for this one, we'll use Tylose powder. Um, if you want to use it for sculpture purposes, use one tablespoon. But if you want to use it for making flowers, which dries really fast, you have to use one and one half tablespoon of Tylose powder. So, since I'm going to make flowers later on, I'll be using one and one half tablespoon of Tylose powder. Okay? So, add it in and then gently mix. Make sure that you mix it well and then you will notice that as you gradually mix and combine, the consistency or the texture will be thick. So, if you don't want to work your arms out, you can use a mixer for this one. Okay, but me, I just love mixing it this way. Okay, so as you see, it became thick, right? So, after this, we'll be adding our 3 fourth confectioner sugar. So, for the additional 3 fourth, that is just for kneading purposes. So most of the time, you won't be able to use all the 3 fourth cups, okay? So, we'll be adding our 3 fourth cup of sifted confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. Okay, so that's one, two, So that's 3 fourth cup of powdered sugar. Okay, so I have to sift it. So I won't sift it all first because I want to make sure that I won't add too much, okay? Sometimes humidity is also a factor. So when you're making this gum paste, if it's humid, so most probably you'll be ending up using all the additional powdered sugar for kneading purposes but if it's really hot normally you would only use two fourths okay so right now in my area it's a little bit dry and hot so this is okay so just scrape it off okay and then we will take all of this out So what you want to do is to add shortening on your palm or on your hands, okay? And then after that, you start folding and kneading, okay? So you see that? It's actually very easy and fun to make. So for the storage of this one, you can store it also inside the refrigerator and then um, if you want to use it, just cut off small chunks and just use what you need, okay? So as you see, um, basically we just used around two-fourths of our powdered sugar. Okay, so you just knead this well. So this one dries fast also but if it's humid and rainy I don't suggest that you use gum paste or sugar paste 
I have a separate or a different recipe that you can use for rainy or humid season, which is mako paste. I'll also put it on the description box below. Okay, so there you have it. This is our vegan gum paste. You see that it's very elastic and easy to use. So the difference of this gum paste compared to the one that has glucose as a base, this one dries hard, while the other one, the one that has glucose, it dries very rubbery. So it's not that hard. This one, it dries hard. Again, um, if you don't want it to be too hard, uh, you can actually just use one tablespoon but if you want a paste that is drying fast, you want to use one and one half tablespoon of Tylos powder. Okay, so now I'll show you how I store it. So put shortening on your palm and on your hands. Gently knead and massage. Okay, and then separate it into small chunks so that you won't find it hard to actually chop it off or slice it if you want to use it okay so just separate it in small chunks like that and then wrap it on cling wrap or just use an ordinary plastic wrap and then after that put it on an airtight container okay so here this is what I love using so this is an ordinary plastic okay so this one so basically, I put my hands inside, get my paste, and then wrap it. Make sure that it's there's no air inside, okay? And then this, um, I put them all, just like this one, on one airtight container. And then it would last for a month inside the refrigerator. And then if you want to use it, you just need to thaw this at room temperature for... 30 minutes to 1 hour and then you should be able to use it right away. Okay, so there you have it. This is our vegan gum paste. You see that? It's super duper easy to use. It's not sticky and it's really, really stretchy. Okay, so I have here a sample which is made from that gum paste also. See that? It's very pretty. I do have a video of how to make this cherry blossom. So I'll also put it on the description box below. That was a video for about 9 months ago. Okay? So, there you have it. Thank you!